And welcome back to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host, as always, Litecoin Leader. Today, we're talking about another coin that I reviewed back in April. And boy, did my videos look kind of rough back in April. I mean, it's still not, you know, it's not high end production values here, but we're getting better, um, getting more comfortable getting the videos. But man, going back to April. Oof, okay. Uh, first month of the channel, but here we go. So I'm going to talk about a coin today called Loop Ring. And what Loop Ring's value proposition is, is twofold. One is a layer two solution to Ethereum. And what that is, is that Ethereum has a blockchain, it's layer one. And that gets a lot of traffic. And that's why the fees are so high. So there are many, there's a few other projects that are out there creating which a layer two, which rides above layer one. And a layer two project like a Matic or Loop Ring what they do is they aggregate transactions and then eventually they just dump them down to level one. So that way, if you have like, so instead of putting one transaction on the blockchain and it, like for a hundred bucks, you have a hundred transactions, you put it all there once and it's a dollar each. So they kind of, you average out the cost. So maybe it's 105 and Loopring gets five. I mean, but however they do it, but that's how they work the system. So that's the first element that Loopring offers. The second element that Loopring offers is they offer a, decentralized exchange uh, that also that looks a lot like Binance or uh, Pro, Coinbase Pro. Uh, and it also, also offers limit orders, which a, a DEX normally is like you have to go, you do the transaction, you're basically swapping immediately. And then you like, take Ethereum and you get Coin X and it, and it transacts immediately. And as a result of that immediacy that's needed, uh, you're paying very high fees. But if you put a limit order in, and again, because Loop Ring is at level two, layer two, uh, and an aggregator, they can say, okay, whenever that transaction hits, they can just add it to the list, add it to the next block that they're going to dump onto uh, the, the layer one at Ethereum, and they, everybody wins. So, so instead of trying to buy, you save on fees, that's number one. And number two, instead of trying to buy whatever the market price is today, let's say you want to buy a coin, but you only want to buy it when it gets below a dollar, and it's a dollar ten now. So you put a limit order in it, like 95 cents, and say, I want to buy this coin when it's at 95 cents. You can't do that on a Uniswap or a Sushi Swap or a Pancake Swap or pick a food swap. Um, that you, you can't do that. That's because it's, it's an immediate swap need. And same thing for even a simple swap type, type uh, exchange or even over the counter. It's pretty much right away. Unless you have a limit order arrangement with it over the counter, but that's besides the point. This is something you can do online and control yourself. So Loopring offers this interface, which I'll share and show in a minute, where you can do limit orders on a DEX. So without further ado, here's the news and the charting of Loopring. And it's as you'll note in the actual charting that I did, uh, let me check the date. Uh, it was uh, mid-April, April 19th. I think it was pretty spot on with my prediction on where what price that Loopring could get to. So more right now. Just a quick reminder that nothing in this video is considered financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Seek out your own advice and do your own diligence. Do your own research. So what is Loopring? Well, Loopring is an Ethereum token that runs in the Ethereum blockchain that is a layer two solution. It makes a second layer on top of the, the Ethereum blockchain itself so that it creates a DeFi protocol to exchange currencies, uh, cryptocurrencies. So it, you can think of it as a decentralized exchange or a DEX, but it's a little bit different because it, uh, it, it is running on the Ethereum platform and there's more to it than just a Uniswap or sushi swap type exchange. So walking through the loop ring discussion, loop ring, now it can get very technical very quickly with loop ring. Uh, the, just looking at loop rings page, they explain it as a ZK rollup exchange and payment protocol. What does ZK rollup mean? Well, that is a zero knowledge uh, exchange, meaning that you don't have to know the underlying status of the Ethereum network. It works as a layer two. It's riding on top of the Ethereum network. So you don't, the, the magic to the loop ring is that it does things off chain and then brings everything onto the chain later on. So by doing thousands of transactions off chain and then bring them as an aggregate to the chain, you're reducing the fees, which are the main problem right now with Ethereum. Ethereum cannot scale until it gets to Ethereum 
uh, generation two, uh, the Ethereum 2.0, when that happens, the, eventually it will be able to accommodate more, but then there'll be more demand and there'll be the, this problem will just be put off and it will happen again. But Loop Ring is helping to solve that problem by adding a second layer for transactions. Think of it as an on-ramp to a, a, a freeway. Ethereum is the highway that's crowded at rush hour, but having on and off ramps that are gated or throttled by stoplights or other traffic, it, it helps to control that traffic flow and make it more run more smoothly. That is the job of Loop Ring as a layer two solution. So walking through the Loop Ring documentation, they go through why loop ring it's super secure there's high throughput as i mentioned before and it's low cost again lots of transactions lower cost because you don't have to pay for all those transactions every single time you're you're pulling a lot of them together and then writing to the ethereum blockchain once loop ring is also an exchange and if you look at this image this may look very similar to the other things you have seen such as uh the pro coinbase interface so this is one of the things that I've been personally looking for, for using decentralized exchanges. I, one of the problems with using uh, swaps and decentralized exchanges is that the transaction is immediate. Uh, there's no limit orders. You can't say, I only want to buy it if it gets to this price. I only want to sell if it drops to this price or if it gets this high. You can't do that with these decentralized exchanges. Loop Ring has built an exchange that allows you to do that. Uh, and we'll go into that a little bit further, but having this kind of interface is what I've been really looking for. So not only is Loop Ring solving the problem of the transaction fees, it's also adding more features that are needed and warranted and desired by many users in the DEX DeFi space. So here's another good article that was written about the Loopring Exchange. It talks about the layer two scaling so solution that Loopring presents, uh, saving the, the gas fees and the time. And it walks through the different aspects that uh, Loopring affords to the DeFi space. Uh, it talks about an AMM. Again, this gets complicated quickly, but an AMM is a automated market maker. So that's what Sushi Swap, that's what uh, Uniswap, that's what a lot of these swap sites are. You put in a transaction, it happens nearly immediately, and it's not only does, does it happen right away, no, there's no limit orders or stop losses or anything like that, but what also happens is that the price is set based on the liquidity pool of that exchange. In other words, however, if you're exchanging Ethereum for Polkadot, or loop ring or any other ethereum coin uh, the price is set based on the liquidity pools and how much is available of both on that particular site so this article does a very good job of describing without going too detailed and too technical on how this works what loop ring is about but the bottom line is that it's solving a real world problem not only for the gas fees being high but also uh, desired features that are war warranted in the DeFi space Now to take a quick look at what else the Loop Ring offers, Loop Ring is also a wallet. You can actually have a wallet. You can have a DeFi uh, decentralized exchange app on your smartphone. Uh, they offer both wallets and exchanges. Uh, we talked about the exchange first, but there's also the wallet where you can have a smart wallet that gives you the trading and transfers and AMM features all in a wallet. And also I'll provide a closer look here at the exchange. Again, it looks very similar if you've looked at um, any of the like Coinbase Pro or other uh, professional exchanges like Binance or Kraken, you, a lot of the features that you're looking for are all here. You can trade. This, this particular example is Dai for USDT. Um, you have you know the, the assets. You have the buy and sell orders. You can put limits in. You can see what the uh, the, the, the current book looks like, the recent transactions and so on. So it looks, it looks and behaves very much like you're working with a normal exchange, even though you're working as a decentralized platform. <music> Lastly, I'm going to mention a few other, a couple of videos as I like to do for, for further research. Uh, Coin Bureau does a great job on explaining Loop Ring. The video is a little dated. Uh, October, that's six months, but it's, it's still a little dated. Six months is a long time in the crypto space. 
and then also there's a good tutorial that, that they speaks to these issues um, almost a year ago from DeFi Dad, who uh, talks to how to trade with the DEX and beat the, the gas prices uh, that, are, that, that were high back then. So they do go up and down over time. Now that we have a better understanding of what Loopring does and the problems it's solving, let's take a look at the charts and see where we're at today. So take a look at the charts. We have two main charts that I wanted to look at. First, we have loop ring against the dollar, and I put some Fibonacci extensions and retracements on the chart. This is a one-day uh, Bitfinex trade of loop ring versus the dollar, uh, and you can see looking back to the December time frame, uh, we it was all the way down below tw uh, twenty cents. Uh, I was flying in the teens, and then it really started to take off, and then it went to a peak of nearly a dollar of 80 cents and then it started to retrace in february and came all the way back down to the 40 45 cent range so by taking a look at this uh we can see that if if you look at some basic la wave theory this looks very much like a wave one followed by a wave two retracement which means that we could quite likely be heading towards a wave three move up which is the largest move forward so if these charts hold and they look like they could uh, we have, um, and we'll look at another chart in a moment, but if this is a, this is a 50% retracement, which is a healthy move retracement, a typical extension for a wave two, uh, if I scroll this out a little bit, we'll take this up to the 2.6 line, which we'll put it at about $1.40. So if it's, even if it's just in uh, a wave five, it would take it to about just over a dollar. So somewhere in between a dollar and a dollar forty is a reasonable target based on charting this from uh, the, from Elliott Wave Theory and looking at this to as a potential wave three upwards. Again, not financial advice, but this is my opinion on what the chart's telling me. Now, if I look at the chart against Bitcoin, I see two general things. First, I see a a pretty pretty strong resistance line and there's several touches here right around 1250 or so sats so that to me tells me that we were trying to break through it and this pullback that just happened where lots of coins pulled back over the, this recent weekend it hit right that, that line and pulled right back so once it bursts through this line again that will become support and will head up again and if you think it's it's reasonable to think that this could be a double bottom right here from 880 up to 1200 so extending that you could probably be looking 1500 to 1600 sats now that is tough to translate into a dollar amount because we don't know what bitcoin will be at that given time but what we can do is we can take a, a measurement and just say if we're at 1096 and we go up to say I think I said 15, 1600. Let's say, let's say 1500, just to be safe. That is a 35% move upwards in relation to Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin goes up another 20%, you're looking at about a 50, 50, 50 to 60% move upwards from where it's at today. So I think it's a timely position. Based on the charts, it looks like it's a reasonable time to either add to a, your stack of loopering or potentially get into it for the first time. Again, this is not financial advice, it's for educational purposes only, but in my interpretation of reading the chart and how I would educate someone to read these charts, it seems to me saying that this has, for both a loop ring against Bitcoin and a loop ring against the US dollar, there seems to be upwards momentum that seems to want to carry this up 30 to 70% from where it presently is. So there you go, loop ring. And Pretty remarkable that what let's see it's April nineteenth and now it's November. That's six months, and I was able to see a dollar forty in the future. Hmm. Who knew? Not only could I see dollar forty, but also that's kind of like where it's kind of averaging into. It's, it's interesting that that's its new baseline. So sometimes the charts just tell you what they tell you, and you just like that's how I read it. And hey, look how it turned out. Worked out for Matic too. It's like both those like something about level two, layer two. I keep seeing level two, layer two solutions in the charting that just seems to work out on what I see but in any event I really like loop ring I think what they have to offer um and with people getting more involved in decentralized exchanges and people getting concerned about the exchanges and what they're doing and 
I think it's a, a value added project. I originally was a little bit harsher on my score on, on when I did all Quinopoly. I gave it a two and a half out of five. I would put this at three to three and a half. Now it's more mature six months into the project. Um, people are discovering it. People are looking into it more and really liking what they find. And I think it's got positive upside to go for it. I think it's breaking into the top 100 now. I didn't have time to rechart it, but I just wanted to show that the original chart showed that we were going to get to $1.40. I think there's even more upside potential as we break into the top 100. So the product has good legs, uh, good history, good track record, and it's doing things that make sense in the block space, blockchain space that's very much needed right now. We need decentralized exchanges with limit orders. So a lot said today. I just want to share the content and get everybody to see this video exclusively on LoopBrain and with the proper titling. And there we have it. So that's all for today. I'm going to close the drawer in the bureau and I'll see you next time.